appreciate all the love and support. Everybody that's been watching me grow from two months. I just started my YouTube journey two months ago. Um, I have really exciting stuff in store for everybody. I can't wait for everybody that's watching, subscribing, and staying tuned with my channel to see where I go from here on out. I have some really exciting things to talk about today. And if you guys have been keeping up with me, you probably know what I'm going to talk about. Can't really spill a lot of beans. Y'all just got to stay tuned, subscribe, and make sure you subscribe to Carmen's channel. Make sure you subscribe to NB. NEB management and NEB studios to see everything that's in store today guys I'm super excited no big deal I'm just living my best life <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute. It's been about four days since I posted. I haven't updated you guys since I did my Carmen boot camp reveal. So I'm super excited to be here today. I've been super busy, still working full time. Also, um, goodness, this lighting, I need a good angle. Um, also, I've just been super busy working full time and then I had to get ready for this boot camp. And I've been working every day since like I found out. So I've had really time to regroup before I had to do this. Yesterday was the big day. Unfortunately, I didn't really make a vlog out of this because it's for entertainment purposes. So I didn't really want to get in trouble or risk getting in trouble. Of course, I was active on my Instagram and Snapchat. So if you guys have me on there, you guys seen a little bit of what happened yesterday. You guys can also go look on Instagram and go to my page, you'll see the picture I posted with Carmen. I got to meet your girl Carmen, super exciting. So if you guys wanna go look at my page, take a look at that. Um, and then you can also click the links and go check out Carmen's page, NEB Management and NEB Studios, because that's where it took place. So if you guys wanna see a little bit of what went on, what I was doing, what Carmen's boot camp was, y'all can go there and then stay tuned for what's about to happen next. Um, these, I'm not sure if this is for Carmen's YouTube or for NEB, but it'll be like a whole season. So you'll just have to stay tuned and see what happened. I can't reveal anything. I can't tell y'all any dirty secrets or details. I can't really tell you about what went on. You're just going to have to stay tuned and watch and follow Carmen on all her social media because I'm sure it's going to be on hers. I'm pretty sure it's going to be on her YouTube channel. So definitely go follow my girl on YouTube. Subscribe so you can see me on there because I was in there I made the semi-finalist there were 600 girls only 50 girls got to go to um, the thing we did yesterday and only 15 girls got picked to do the official season one of Carmen's boot camp so and yesterday was really exhausting like I did it I went to this thing on two like two three hours of sleep I was up really late the night before like I said I was working up until the day before all yesterday and we had to be there at 10 a.m. and I drove I didn't even stay in Houston um, I drove from College Station to Houston and it was an hour and 20 drive I woke up a little late like I and I didn't even know what outfit I was gonna wear I had three outfits with me in the car and I literally changed before I got there I literally didn't even know what I was going to wear. It said dress to impress. So I was like confused because a lot of my dress to impress are like club clothes and I didn't want to look like a hoochie mama because I didn't know if that was like the scene. I didn't know what to wear. I didn't really know what any other girls were wearing. Um, we had a group chat. One of the girls had reached out. One of the girls that um, first, when she first got picked, she started looking for other girls that got picked and started um, an Instagram page. So... I was able to communicate with some of the girls before I went, which was really nice. So I seen some familiar faces when I got there. And it was just an overall great experience. Um, I had so much fun and it definitely boost, boosted my confidence so much. And I'm super excited to see where things go from now with my YouTube career because it definitely boosted my confidence and make me want to go harder. So, and it was so motivating to be around such beautiful but uplifting females. <clears throat> there was just not like a rude there was no rude girls there was no bad tensions between anybody like it was really cool like I really enjoyed myself 
Um, I was super, super nerve wracking seeing all the beautiful ladies. So if any of y'all are watching this, um, I loved meeting all of you guys and every one of you guys were beautiful. Everybody did so good and it was a great experience. So y'all just have to stay tuned. I can't really reveal much until, um, things there because it's like a, it's going to be kind of like a episode series. So of course, like I can't spoil anything. So don't ask me, don't ask me what happened because I can't tell you boo. But yeah, I was super tired. I was kind of like bummed. I didn't get to hang out with any of the girls after because I was just so tired. I was like, I did the whole thing on like two hours of sleep and I literally drove back home a little later last night, got here and knocked out. So, but I'm up now. I'm about to do some stuff today. I'm about to get active. Um, I haven't filmed any videos since like Lane was basically here in a couple days after that. So I'm going to try to... Get some videos in today. This is going to be one of them. Um, I just went and re-upped on some of my makeup. And I'm going to do like a little makeup haul with you guys today. Like a get ready with me. A little updated makeup. This is also how I did my makeup yesterday. And well, part of it. But yeah, so this is what I use for my face. Um, this is what I normally use. I went and finally got some. Remember that dollar store uh, concealer I showed you guys we threw it away and I went and got this stuff. Um, it's fit. Uh, the color I'm using is 122. So if you look like you might have my skin tone, this one might be the one for you, boo. And excuse me, I'm a little red. I just dyed my hair before the boot camp, and of course I use a Joyco hair color and it bleeds a little bit, but it's literally the this magenta color is the only one that comes out right and gives me like the color I want. Um, I've tried a couple other brands and it just doesn't work for me. So so, um, I'm trying to get better with using brushes to put my, uh, foundation on. So, as you've seen, I just use my brush to put foundation on. And, um, after I've evenly applied that, and my skin's not that bad right now, but I'm just going to do this for the video. Um, and I want to take some pictures today for my YouTube and for my Instagram. So, you girls getting ready. But now I'm about to use, I've been using this e.l.f., um face powder so this is like my next step I put some face powder on um kind of like evens out the color I don't put a lot because like I said my face isn't bad right now um I also got where is it I used to use this when I was like in high school and now I'm about to take it back this is an eraser concealer uh, my face doesn't really look that bad right now but you know, we'll just do it for the video. I usually put concealer under my eyes and like on any blemishes, but I don't really got any right now. My face looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna, I didn't put that much on, so I'm just gonna kind of gently rub it in. Okay. Yeah, my face looks really good. I've been trying to like, not, I don't wear makeup unless um, I have something to do. So, and I've been trying not to wear makeup at work. Especially with wearing these masks. But you girl, I'm shining today. You know, I'm glowing. I had a good day yesterday. Next, it's my favorite part. We about to do these brows. I use the Anastasia Dip Brow and the color I use is Soft Brown. Um, I honestly am due for another one. This one's getting like a little dry. And I need a new brush. Or well, I think I have one. I just need to find it. Um, but I just... I don't outline my eyebrows, I just kind of like fill them in. Nothing crazy. I already have naturally like thick eyebrows. Um, I just messed them up when I was younger, so they're thin in some parts. So I just kinda, and usually this is the one I have issues with is like right there. Yeah. Also, wax my face. I got myself together for this Carmen's boot camp. I literally did my own hair, waxed my own face. Oh, you girl, I did go get my nails done. I got claws back, if you guys didn't notice. It's been a year. I took a year from nails. I took a break, and I think it was very much needed. Um, I had been wearing nails for probably like three, four years straight. Like, I love nails. And I feel like myself again, the only thing I'm worried about, I've only worked one shift with these and I'm a bartender and I'd be moving fast. I'd be in my zone and 
I'm really clumsy. I run into things. I bump my hands and things. I'm always hurting myself. So I'm worried that I'm going to break these. And these are super long. But this is how I like my nails. If you're going to get fake nails and acrylics, like, why are you going to get short nails? You might as well just grow them out. Because for real, like, I've grown my nails out, like, as long as my fake nails before. It's crazy. Okay, but we got the eyebrows done. We got the face. Um, I don't know if I should do a wing. Maybe I should. You know what? I'm going to attempt to do a wing, but I'm, like, literally doing, like, filming this through my phone. And doing everything on my phone, so I don't know how this is going to go. Um, but I'm using a... What is this? A tart. I'm using a tart eyeliner. It's got two sides. It's got this. And then it's got this. So. But I'm going to use this side. Usually when I do my wing, I just do the first one. And then... Depending on how the first one goes, I usually just go with however the look I get this one to go and then do the same on the other side. So if it's dramatic, it's just going to be dramatic. I also just freehand mine. I don't ever like tape it or anything. I just freehand it. Yeah, and then like I can go in and fix that end. I usually do a little underneath. And like I'm not doing anything today. I'm just probably just going to be shooting videos, but I'm taking pictures. So this is what I got and then I'm going to go in with Oh shit. I have nails on, so like I have to remember how to use my nails. But, yeah, you guys are definitely going to have to stay tuned if you haven't yet. Make sure you subscribe to my channel um, to see what happens in my uh, YouTube career, you know? Girls trying to go some places. I'm shooting a video and Lane just called me. He's going to be so mad. So I'm going to start talking smack because I didn't answer, but I'm going to have to just call him in a minute. Okay, so now, okay, this is the hard part is doing the other eye. And this angle is terrible with this phone over here. I might have to do this one off camera one second. Okay, we got the wings done. Like I said, I'm not doing anything today, so it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, I'm also not about to put lashes on either. I'm not going to waste a pair of lashes. Just to hang out at the house today. Okay, let's get this lighting right. Okay, so now I got my um, my wing on. I don't normally do a wing. But you, wings are usually what I put on when I'm like going out. Like I'll put a wing on if I'm going out to the club. And I'm just going to put some mascara. Okay, we got some mascara on. You girl looking good. Um, I kind of want to try, so I got in my last Ipsy bag, if you haven't watched my video, go watch it to see what I'm using. Um, and these are my eyelashes, I forgot to bring these yesterday, I was supposed to wear eyelashes, but fuck it. I also got these ones. I'm cheap, I just use cheap eyelashes, but these are the ones I got, so I need to, I'm trying to get better putting them on. I do want to get extensions, but I don't want to like lose my eyelashes, because I have somewhat good natural eyelashes, but... Um, I kind of want to try uh, putting on, where is my, I just got a new, this. So, I don't really ever, like, contour, but I kind of wanted to try putting a little bit of this cream bronzer on. Which, I don't really know what kind of brush you would use to put a cream bronzer on. So, if any of you guys know, maybe comment below. Um, but maybe today, I'm just gonna use this sponge. I have, like, this sponge-like, I'm just gonna, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. It might ruin my look today. Oh. Uh, I don't know. 
I might just not even put this on. I mean, I have this stick too, but it like looks really dark. I got this in there. So like, and I think actually I was supposed to do this a while ago. So you know what? <laughs> I'm not even gonna put on any, uh, you know. I'm not gonna put any of that on, but what I am gonna use is my Nomad palette. Because this palette has a bunch of different colors. I usually use this as like a highlight. And then I have these colors, these dark colors that I could use to, um, you know, do the whole shindig. So I'm going to start with this Manly Beach. Oh. I'm going to kind of oh, brush it oh. down here. Um. And it probably doesn't do the justice with this uh, lighting and the way that I film. Um, and then now I'm going to use one of the sparkly ones because I love sparkles. So I'm probably going to use this bottom corner. And this is Bondi Beach. And I'm just going to kind of dab that in there because it's got some sparkle. I like this palette though. It's really pretty. I think I would buy it. Um, and now I'm going to use the Balamora Beach, which is the pink hue. And this is the one I always use for like highlights and if I want some extra like glimmer added into my look. Um, yeah, I usually just do this little thing, put some up here. I have this little brush and I'm going to take it and I'm going to kind of put it right there. I underline my eyebrow and inner eye. And you say, I'll go back right there and right there. And we got a look. This is pretty much a little more done up. Um, I would add some eyelashes and a little bit of eyeshadow, um, but yeah, I'm gonna add some gloss. And I also got this gloss out of my bag. It's called Ofra. It's like a pink, pretty. And then this is all like a, mainly the stuff I used, other than the two, the concealer and the fit, um, or the fit concealer and the or the fit foundation and the concealer uh all this really came from my ipsy bags which is really cool um i don't know a lot about makeup so if any of y'all are watching this and like uh girl that's not what you do well tell me below what to do because you know i just really taught myself how to do makeup i don't really watch any makeup videos which i think i should start doing um i'm kind of cheap when it comes to makeup i don't really believe in spending like 60 dollars on like foundation because just some of us don't got it like that. So, um, I usually just go to Walmart or the drugstore to get my makeup necessities. But this is today's look. It looks pretty good. Um, I'm probably going to take some selfies, take some pictures. I might put, might put on a cute outfit. Maybe do a Fashion Nova haul. I got a bunch of Fashion Nova clothes that I want to, like, haul out for you guys. Um, but yeah, this is my look. Checker. If you haven't yet, make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think about this video. I appreciate y'all watching. Continue to watch my channel grow. And stay tuned for what's going to happen next, guys. Love y'all. Till next time.